Patrick Lamar. Uh, welcome back to the show. Looking good, bud. I like that double-breasted suit. You know? Uh, yeah. You look great, pal. You Can know what? I feel great. And before, and I appreciate that, uh -huh. and before we start, I just want to say, the suit is Gucci. Um, no, 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 you don't have to say that. You don't have to say but, any of that but, stuff. But the suit is Gucci. Yeah, yeah. But the socks are Nike dry fit. <laughs> you know what I'm wow. saying? That's what I'm talking about. See, he knows how to do it. Uh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Dry fit. You need the dry fit. Well, you're, 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 you're getting sporty, by the way. I am. You really are. You're, into, you're getting into golf. Yes, yes. And how long have you been into uh, golf? Four years. Yeah. Yeah. Are you getting better? No. Okay. Worse. All right. Worse. Way worse. But I, was, I was good a year and a half in. Trajectory. Pro. Now, trash. But trash. What, what happened to you? Thinking. Thinking. Yeah, you're just overthinking. Well, you know what? At a certain point, I was like, you know what? I should probably finish the album. I should stop playing golf. I make money doing this. Yes. And I lose money doing this. Yeah, OK, yeah, interesting. Let's focus on the music. <laughs> and then I stopped playing. And then you are only on Instagram looking at other people telling you how to play golf. And you lose well, all I, athletic I a, ability. Yeah, I, you were at the, you were at the uh, Oh no. A pro-am. No, this is good. <sighs> Look at the swing. Look at that. That's a, that's a good looking golfer. Is this your, uh, is this your uh, by the way, is this your clothing? Audience? Yes, Bogey Boys. So we started Bogey Boys, golf brand, hat, jacket, shirt, pants, everything. The uh, sunglasses are Oakley, and they are just there to prevent anyone from seeing the tears. <laughs> no, that's not true. That is a great swing. I like, see, what I do is when I play golf, I hold that for too long. Mm. So even if your shot's bad, you just go like, whoosh. Yeah, they don't know. You just hold it. They can't go. tell on TV. No, yeah, it looks yeah. good. But then I got another photo of here. Here's you. Uh, this is you looking for your ball. Yeah, that's no, no, that no. was fun. That's. I just, that's why I had to do equal. I got to show both pictures. You here. know, it was the 18th hole on the last day on Sunday. Yeah. When I hit two people back to back. <laughs> that I really had a long, hard talk with myself later that night. Of you maybe you, this is not the sport for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, this is the sport for you right here. Yes. We love you. We love your music. Congratulations. Thank this you. This Friday. This Friday, it comes out. Uh, you, you were working on the album. You had a tour all set up, and then uh, everything just changed. Yeah. Uh, can you talk about that a little bit? Yes. COVID happened, and um, like everybody, right. my world stopped. And you know, for those of you that might not follow my my story, uh, I am a recovering addict, alcoholic, and have been for the last 14 years. And COVID happens. Thank you. Thank you. And. A big part of my recovery community is going to physical 12-step meetings. And yeah. once those stopped, I was alone. And the disease of addiction was like, yo, this is crazy. The world has stopped. You can get high. And eventually, I, um, I stopped doing the things that prevented me from getting high. And, um, and I listened to that voice. And it was a, a couple weeks of a relapse and very painful and still working on trust issues with myself and within my, you know, close circle of friends, but it definitely was a reminder that whatever I, I put in front of my recovery will be the first thing that I lose. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy that you, you, you stopped. Yeah. And, and got, to, got to get help again. Yeah. I think for, for me, it's not like a linear, it's not a linear path, right? It's not like, oh, once I realized that I had this, it's the one disease that tells you you don't have a disease. Wow. And... I am doing my best, and I'm making mistakes, and, and there's some in the future, too, somewhere along the line, in some capacity in my life, but I want to be able to share that with the people that, that I love and that have followed me. I appreciate the honesty. Yeah. We love you. Yeah, I love you, buddy. We love you. Yeah. Does that... It's scary because, uh, uh, yeah, and I do want to say it again, we love you. Yeah. I really love you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. I feel the same way. Uh, you've been great to us. I've yeah, known you, for, you guys. I've known you for a decade. A I decade, guess, a right? Decade, yeah. I really do. Does, does it change the, the music? Does it change the album and the tour? And you're like, oh wait, maybe I should go back and re-record that. You know, I think that it, it creates some moments of introspection. Of again, who am I? That's kind of the stripping away is the part of the process of writing an album. Is like, is not adding more to, but peeling back layers, uncovering the veil, getting to the heart. 
And the relapse was an opportunity for me to get back to that place of, okay, what went on? Let me talk about it. Let's get vulnerable. And what are you afraid to say right now? That's what you need to lean into. Oh, congratulations on the album and, and, and getting everything. Thank you. We love you so much. Thank you. Give it up for Macklemore right there, guys. Everybody. Congrats. The new album, Ben, comes out this Friday. And you're going to be back on our show next week. Yes. So, yeah, so come right hey. back. Don't leave. Macklemore, everybody. More Tonight Show. Stick around. Come on back. Hey, hey.